Hello world, it's Siraj, and I built an app called Animusica that lets anyone generate their own anime video, and I'll explain how to build it yourself, get initial paying users, and at the end, we'll generate an anime rap video. But not yet. Once logged in, users can upload a video and it will output an anime version of it. They can also pay for more extensive usage with either fiat or crypto. Now, I know what you might be thinking, why would anyone want to create their own anime videos? Generative AI is being used today to create stunning visual effects in TikToks, movies, shows, product design, even entire building design. The potential applications for generative AI are truly limitless. So let's break this down into a three-step tutorial. We'll first build an anime video generator in PyTorch. Then we'll set up a React web app to serve users, then integrate payments using Stripe and Ethereum. So let's go over the app's architecture. Animusica is a web application written in React. It uses Firebase for user authentication. Once logged in, users can pay using either Stripe for Fiat or Ethereum tokens with the ethers.js library. The video they upload is converted to anime using a pre-trained PyTorch model called AnimeGAN v2 that's served using Gradio, a simple interface for demoing deep learning models. The React app is hosted on Versal, a hosting platform for app development, and the PyTorch code is currently hosted on Hugging Face. In V2, it can be hosted on Versal as well. All in all, it took me two working days to build this MVP, but that's not just because I have programming experience. <laughs> It's because programming itself has gotten so much more easy and enjoyable the past few years. I use GitHub Copilot to auto-complete my code instead of spending hours on Stack Overflow. React is my new favorite web framework because I've learned just how fast it lets you whip up apps. And this comes from someone who loves Python. And when I don't know some code snippet, I can just ask ChatGPT. Oh, and rather than having to download ML models to run locally like I used to, Hugging Face and Gradio lets me demo 50 different models in the time it would take me to demo one just a year ago. TLDR, it's never been easier to become a startup founder than it is today in any country of any age. For our anime generator model, we've got some options. Do we prefer better image quality or faster video generation speed? For better image quality, diffusion models like Stable Diffusion and Midjourney have demonstrated the state of the art across many domains. During the training process of these models, first a forward diffusion process maps data to noise by gradually modifying the input data randomly. Then a reverse process undoes the forward diffusion and tries to denoise the image. Both the forward and reverse processes very often use thousands of steps for gradual noise injection and during generation for denoising. Diffusion models, while higher quality, are often slow at sample generation, requiring minutes or even hours of computation time. For faster generation, we could use a generative adversarial network, or GAN, which generates samples using only one call to a neural network. GANs are two neural networks in a versus battle. One tries to spoof, one tries to detect the spoof. Over time, they both improve, and we can use the spoof generator to generate a very realistic looking spoof. And rather than struggling with collecting and organizing an anime data set ourselves to train on, let's look at a paper from 2020 titled Anime GAN, a novel lightweight GAN for photo animation. This team of researchers used a GAN for style transfer, which is what we want. Rather than watch Goku, we'd like to become Goku. So instead of a text to image model that uses diffusion, we'll use this image to image model which converts each image frame in an input video to an output image frame, but in the style of anime. Style transfer methods can learn the style of the reference image and apply the learn style to the input image to generate a new image, which fuses the content of both. The team used over 6,000 real world photos and several thousand anime images from different movies like The Wind Rises by Hayao Miyazaki, The Goat, anime director, Paprika by Nan Satoshi, and Your Name by Makoto Shinkai as their training data. I found a working PyTorch implementation of AnimeGAN on Hugging Face's model hub. Let's download it and take a look at the code before running it ourselves. 
All the code fits into a single Python class file. There are four steps here. First, we import our dependencies. GC, Math, and NumPy are helper functions for computation, while Gradio helps us deploy a demo web app. Pillow for image processing and Torch Vision for image transformation and deep learning. Then on to step two, we initialize a pre-trained anime style transfer model by AK391. Then we define our five helper functions, face to paint, uniformed temporal subsample, short side scale, inference step, and prediction function. Dios mio, that's a lot of functions. Basically, prediction calls inference at each frame of the video to style transfer, and then combines the frames into an output video using the help of the other functions to do formatting, resizing, and optimal frame selection. Generate, discriminate, make a spoof I detect. Generate, discriminate, is it fake I perfect? The model model has already been trained, so there's no more training necessary. Which brings us to the last step, creating a web interface with Gradio. Gradio is the easiest way to create a demo interface for a deep learning model. One object is created and launched in the same line of code. We can launch this ourselves by creating our own hugging face space and deploying it to that space ourselves. Now, the slider is limited by the duration of seconds because we are on a free plan. But if we scale this to much more people and allow for much longer video generation, we'll eventually need to pay for compute, which means we'll need to register users to charge them to cover our operating costs. Let's create a web interface in React to do this. React is the most popular JavaScript library for building user interfaces for web and mobile. It was unfortunately designed and maintained by Facebook. It uses a declarative style of programming, which makes it easier to understand and reason about. In a declarative style of programming, you describe the desired outcome and the framework takes care of the details on how to achieve that. To get started with React, we need Node.js installed, which is the JavaScript runtime environment, and NPM as well, the Node Package Manager, to install any dependencies. Then we can create our own React app with the npx command. This creates a skeleton project structure for us, and we can start it with the npm start command and see it running on localhost. Now, we want to implement user registration and sign up, which takes a lot of time. There's a ton of React templates on GitHub I tried until I found one that actually worked by Tony Arrived. It's a bare bones pre-built React login template with full Firebase integration. We just have to download it, run npm install for the dependencies and change the Firebase configuration variable to include our actual Firebase credentials. To get Firebase credentials, we can just go to the Firebase console and create a new app. Now we can use brandmark.io to generate a nice logo for us, switch out the logo, we'll remove Facebook and Google sign in because we just want a simple demo, then register our first user. We can see that it registered in the Firebase database. Now, how do we connect our React app to our Python app? A great way to do that would be to use the Python web framework Flask to Instead of creating a Gradio interface, creating an API route to access the anime generator. So we can upload it and within our project directory, we can have a single Python class file API running that we can call. But that will take a bit more time. The fastest way to connect to them is to just iframe the existing Gradio interface into the React app. Now we can upgrade our hosted space to a paid plan, then we can charge users to use it once logged in. In previous videos, I demoed the use of one-click payments with Stripe. We can again add one-click payments with Stripe easily. But for those who don't have access to US bank accounts, you can create your own cryptocurrency address and get paid there instead. Let's download a wallet for our browser. My favorite one is MetaMask. Then it will connect to your crypto network of choice. Mine is Ethereum because it accepts the most wide variety of cryptocurrencies currently built on it. Once our address is created, we can use the JavaScript library ethers.js to connect to it. With a single function call, we can connect to whichever wallet is in the browser, get the accounts, their balances, and return it to display in the browser. From here, we can create a charge that whenever a user pays our address, they get a payment ID, which we store in our database, and that gives them access to our service. Now, let's deploy our app to Versal for free hosting. 
After installing the Versal command line interface, we can create a web build then deploy it with the Versal command. Share your app with your friends on Product Hunt or Hacker News and other social media sites to get initial sales. That's it, the live demo and the code are in the video description. Please subscribe for more programming videos. And for now, I've got to react less and act more. <laughs> so, thanks for watching.